Located at the Horn of Africa, the Federal Republic of Somalia is bordered by Ethiopia to the west, Djibouti to the northwest, the Gulf of Aden to the north, the Indian Ocean to the east, and Kenya to the southwest. Having the most extended coastline on Africa's mainland, Somalia's terrain consists mainly of plateaus, plains, and highlands. With a population of over 17 million people, mostly Muslims, 2 million live in its capital and largest city Mogadishu. Described as Africa's most culturally homogeneous country, its official languages are Somali and Arabic. Among the most probable locations of the ancient land of Punt, Somalia, in antiquity, was an important commercial center. During the Middle Ages, several of its powerful empires dominated regional trade, including the Ajaran Sultanate and the Adil Sultanate. In the 19th century, Somalia was colonized by the European and merged into Italian Somaliland and British Somaliland. But following independence in 1960, the two territories were merged to form the independent Somali Republic under civilian government. So let's start off with their politics and government. The nation is a parliamentary representative democratic republic with a president as head of state, commander-in-chief of the Somali Armed Forces, and a prime minister who's head of government. Somalia's national parliament is the federal parliament of Somalia, while its judiciary is defined by the provisional constitution of the Federal Republic of Somalia. The country's national court structure is arranged into three tiers, which are the constitutional court, federal government-level courts, and state-level courts, whose judges are selected by a nine-member Judicial Service Commission, while its laws are gotten from a combination of five three different systems, which include civil law, Islamic law, and customary law. Handled by the President, the Prime Minister, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Somalia's foreign relations with other governments in the international community are basically bilateral. With several diplomatic missions abroad, Somalia is also a member of multiple international organizations, including the United Nations, the African Union, and the Arab League. Known to be one of the poorest countries in sub-Saharan Africa, Somalia is located in one of the most poverty-stricken regions of the world. For more than a century, poverty in Somalia has been an enormous issue, even though slight alleviations have recently been experienced due to increased foreign aid and government stability. Poverty in Somalia can be traced from several points, including severe droughts and extreme weather conditions, which make a life for people living in poverty even more difficult, lack of basic infrastructure like access to fresh drinkable water, low literacy rate due to poor access to education, especially in rural areas, and lack of access to information as 85% of its youth live in rural areas. At around $400, Somalia's per capita income is one of the lowest in the region, making it a huge reason why the country is poor. The number of good jobs in the country is affected by the lack of infrastructure, and so most of Somalia's citizens turn to rely only on agriculture. With limited access to maternal health resources and education, Somalia has a terribly high child mortality rate, making it one of the worst countries in the world to be a woman. In 1991, Somalia's government broke out and left the country in a shattered state. A new government was established, but conflict still continued, leaving the country in extreme poverty, famine, and recurring violence. Twenty years of conflict in Somalia saw the destruction of its infrastructure, economy, and institutions, leaving the country among the five least developed of 170 countries on the Human Development Index. With a poverty rate of 73%, 70% of Somalia's population is living under the age of 30, while its life expectancy is as low as 55 years. With the widespread unemployment, especially among the Somalia youths, development is low due to challenges caused by humanitarian situations and the high level of insecurity, which also contributes to poverty in the country. Home to more than a million refugees living in abject poverty, its food prices have tripled, making it difficult for people to buy food. Food insecurity then has affected more than 2 million people in Somalia, 
causing one-eighth of the children under the age of five to suffer from malnutrition, as livestock management is their main source of livelihood. War and conflict have apprehended Somalia from being a home to a land of poverty and struggle. Since the Civil War, the country has been struggling to gather the pieces of a life that once was. To end child poverty in Somalia, NGOs like Save the Child Somalia have been raising and using money directly to help the children living within the impoverished nation. They have been providing health, nutrition, water, sanitation, hygiene, education, and food security facilities to children. They have also been communicating with the Somali government to implement better strategies for development in the most poverty-stricken areas of the country. According to the guidelines established by the Provisional Constitution in 2012, after the destruction caused by decades of conflict, a new federal government came to power in Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. The emergence of this new ruling party aided the country to get international assistance in resolving ongoing political issues. After a peaceful transition of power occurred in 2017, international relations were further argumented, which made the National Partnership for Somalia successful, assuring longer-term support from international organizations towards alleviating big issues. Mainly caused by the severe drought that occurred in 2017, Somalia's GDP decreased to 1.8% from 2.4% in 2016, despite the new deals of international support. Considered to be one of the fastest urbanizing cities in the world, Mogadishu started improving as far as security, economic potential, and urban displacement were concerned. Despite Somalia's efforts to stop the ongoing famine in 2017 from being widespread, the drought still resulted in large-scale food insecurity that affected over 6 million people. From the widespread shortage of water and pasture, along with an increase in livestock mortality, the agricultural sector collapsed, leading to an overall fall in the country's economy. Nonetheless, in order to ensure the welfare of the children in the streets, the Somali government does claim its responsibilities. Up next, we'll look at the economy. As reported by the Central Bank of Somalia and the CIA, Somalia has maintained a healthy informal economy based mainly on livestock, remittances, and telecommunications despite experiencing civil unrest. Due to the dearth of formal government statistics and not long ago civil war, it is difficult to estimate the size or growth of Somalia's economy. However, according to the central bank, its GDP per capita as of 2012 is $226, which is lesser than that of 1990. While 43% of its population lives on less than one US dollar a day, about 80% of its population is nomadic or semi-nomadic pastoralists who keep sheep, goats, camels, and cattle. With a growing private sector, according to the British Chambers of Commerce, there have been substantial, albeit unmeasured and private investments in commercial activities, which include trade and marketing, money transfer services, transportation, communications, fishery equipment, airlines, telecommunications, education, health, construction, and hotels, largely sponsored by the Somali diaspora. Agriculture Agriculture, being the most important economic sector of Somalia, accounts for about 65% of its GDP and employs over 65% of the workforce. More than 50% of the country's export earnings are contributed by livestock, while its other principal exports include charcoal, fish, bananas, sugar, sorghum, and corn. With a trade deficit of about $190 million per year, Somalia's $2,170 million total exports per year have surpassed pre-war aggregate levels. Advantaged of their location near the Arabian Peninsula, Somali traders have increasingly begun to challenge Australia's traditional dominance over the Gulf Arab livestock and meat market, which offers quality animals at low prices. Based on processing agricultural products, the modest industrial sector provides 10% zero Somalia's GDP. Monetary and Payment System in terms of financial management, the Central Bank of Somalia is in the process of assuming the task of both formulating and monetary policy. 
Despite not having a central monetary system authority for more than 15 years, between the outbreak of the Civil War in 1991 and the subsequent re-establishment of the Central Bank of Somalia in 2009, the country's payment system is currently fairly advanced, basically due to the widespread existence of private money transfer operators acting as informal banking networks. Becoming a large industry in Somalia, the remittance firms have an estimated annual income of $1.6 billion. From tourism to transport to telecommunication and media, it is evident that positive changes are being made to combat poverty in the country. Poverty in Somalia is rooted in civil conflict, limited resources, natural disasters, and a lack of an effective central government. However, with the current progress as far as government stability, improved infrastructure, and security are concerned, there is hope that the country's economy will grow over the poverty line in the nearest future. Our message then to all citizens of Somalia is of encouragement. At every given opportunity, invest your potential for self-development and for the development of your country as a whole. If you enjoyed watching this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and become a member of our growing diverse community here on Think Rich Africa. Thanks for watching and see you in another interesting video. Thank you.